A new kind of war is already happening between the United States and China. But this war is not with weapons. I think China and U.S. is too smart to get the world into World War III. This new war is what we are going to be discussing in this title today. Is the United States truly leading the future of innovation, or is our nation succumbing to antiquated thinking, ignoring the revolutionary wave of artificial intelligence? Every passing day draws the United States and China nearer to a new battleground, a war waged not on land or sea, but in the labyrinth of technology and innovation. Many still ponder the prospect of traditional military conflict, but those with discerning minds recognize that the battle has already shifted. The United States and China, both aware of the perils of escalation, have instead chosen to duke it out in a different theater of war, the realm of artificial intelligence. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation story around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now, let's begin. In the past, we have witnessed monumental projects driven by governmental ambition, such as China's high-speed rail network or the Belt and Road Initiative. These endeavors were not merely successful. They became a testament to China's relentless pursuit of excellence, backed by enormous financial support and sheer determination. Meanwhile, the United States, once a beacon of innovation and progress, has stumbled and faltered in the very field that promises to shape the future of humanity. Artificial intelligence. This is not just a matter of concern. It is a deep wound to the very soul of American ingenuity. Let's be clear about one thing. The U.S. has no shortage of resources. A budget of $797 billion was allocated to the military, allowing for the creation of advanced fighter jets and other technological marvels. But here lies the flaw in our system. We are investing in the past, not the future. The United States, a nation known for its entrepreneurial spirit, has chosen to prioritize the tangible and traditional over the revolutionary. We continue to pour money into machinery that, while impressive, no longer represents the cutting edge of innovation. As Nicholas Chielan, the Pentagon's first chief software engineer, profoundly stated, we have no competing fighting chance against China in 15 to 20 years. Why this grim prognosis? The reason is as disconcerting as it is simple. Our priorities are misplaced. We are stuck in a paradigm that focuses on building physical weaponry while ignoring the technological transformation required to keep pace with the world. The military-industrial complex has become an obsession, blinding us to the critical importance of emerging AI technologies. Chalen was right to assert that technologies like AI are far more essential to America's future than our current investments. Furthermore, we see a reluctance for major U.S. tech companies to work hand-in-hand -hand with the government. This stark contrast with China, where tech giants align their goals with those of the government, reveals a troubling fragmentation of interests within our nation. In China, the announcement in 2017 to lead the world in AI by 2030 was not merely a declaration, but a mission statement that galvanized an entire industry. Industries and tech giants shifted their long-term goals to align with the party and the nation's vision. Can we in the United States say the same? Can we in the United States say the same? The resounding silence to this question speaks volumes about our lack of unity and purpose. Now, the U.S. does have some advantages in this AI battle. We are leading in the development of machine learning systems, but this edge is not a permanent one. The clock is ticking and China is catching up at an alarming pace. Our lead in the English language as the medium of the Internet, a seemingly inconsequential factor, gives us a significant advantage. Yet even this could become irrelevant if China's relentless pursuit of AI continues unabated. But what happens when we look at the industry a decade or two from now? The trajectory is clear. China is doubling down on research, determined not only to catch up but to surpass us. In 2021 alone, they produced 43,000 AI papers, almost twice as many as the U.S. Their quality is also outstanding, as indicated by their citation rate. 
If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Is America losing its footing in the modern technological race? A question that haunts every patriot, every citizen who has seen the United States lead innovation across the globe. But today, as we gather here to discuss the battle for technological supremacy, we must critically question America's approach and analyze the United States' fierce competition with China in the realm of artificial intelligence, AIA. Let's cast aside our blinders for a moment and delve into the U.S. administration's colossal missteps. Shall we? Imagine a world where AI is the crux of the economy, military strategies, and daily life. It's no longer a figment of our imagination, but a reality knocking at our doorstep. So why does it seem that America, despite its incredible legacy, is trailing in this race? First, let's reflect on our defense budget of $797 billion a budget prioritized for building advanced F-35 fighter jets when emerging AI technologies are far more critical to America's future. Why are we prioritizing the obsolete, you might ask? Nicholas Chalon, the Pentagon's former chief software engineer, resigned in despair at our lethargic pace of technological transformation. In his mind, the U.S. obsession with the military-industrial complex left us at a kindergarten level in cyber defenses. What's more, our reluctance to forge alliances between major tech companies and the government is a stark contrast to China's strategy. While Google can flatly refuse to work with the U.S. government, in China, major tech companies operate hand-in-hand -hand with the government, marching towards a shared national vision. Is this unity the secret weapon we're missing? Allow me to answer. Yes, indeed. The synergy between corporations and the state in China has enabled them to advance rapidly in a development, aligning the nation's industries and largest tech companies with the government's long-term goals. Let's explore the battlefield of AI. In 2017, China laid out a plan to lead the world in AI by 2030, and the Chinese government's backing ensures no expense will be spared. Unlike the United States, where projects like the high-speed rail network remained a dream, China developed the world's most advanced and connected high-speed rail network in just over 12 years. They signed over 150 countries up to the Belt and Road Initiative, conducting over $6 trillion worth of trade. The same determination is now directed towards AI. The differences between the U.S. and China become even more pronounced in their approach to technology. In America, major tech companies run independently focusing on maximizing profits. In China, there's no company above the party, and all align their efforts for the nation's benefit. Alibaba, Baidu, Huawei, and Baidu, Huawei, and Baitidence are prime examples, each focusing on specific AI verticals. You might wonder, is there still hope for the U.S.? It's not all gloom. The United States currently leads in building foundational AI models, and the English language gives us a unique advantage, with 50.36 of all websites in the world, published in English compared to just 1.5 in Chinese. However, let's not ignore China's aggressive pursuit of AI. In 2021, China produced 43,000 papers, roughly twice as many as the U.S., and led in terms of quality with Chinese publications cited 70 more frequently. They are also pouring massive investments into AI research, which could add $600 billion to their economy. The next frontier for AI in China seems formidable, doesn't it? So what is the U.S. doing to stop China's rise? Here's where the plot thickens. The U.S. is banning China's access to advanced microchips and pressuring allies to restrict sales to China. But experts warn this could backfire and even destroy America's own microchip industry. The U.S.'s fear of a multipolar world and the striving for a unipolar world order that no longer exists could be our downfall. The battle between the U.S. and China in AI is not just about technology. It's a battle of ideologies, strategies, and long-term visions. And as we debate the future of this global tug of war, we must reflect on America's approach and question if we're fighting the right battles. So here's my question to you, dear audience. Are we, 
the United States preparing to win the right war, or are we stuck fighting yesterday's battles? Your answer may shape the future of not only this great nation, but the entire world. It's time to reassess, reevaluate, and re-strategize. The U.S.-China war in A is starting. The U.S.-China war in A is starting. The real question is, are we prepared for what happens next? Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.